So I decided at that point, my approach at that point was, well, you know what? I hear a lot of these questions and, and, and accusations against uh, Catholicism. And I decided, you know, I, I need to find out why do we, because there were a lot of questions. I'll be honest with you. My Protestant friends asked me that I didn't know how to answer. And one of the mm-hmm. things that, that they confronted me with was, well, why do you all put such a big emphasis on Mary? You know, why, why is everything Mary, Mary, Mary in the Catholic church? And so I started to read up and I started to study. And I just, it it, it was, like I said, I, I love the word paradox because I think that's what describes it. I believed it, never questioned it, even when I didn't fully understand it. And I came to understand that you don't understand so you can see. You don't understand so you can believe. You believe so that you can come to understand. And the more that I studied about what the Catholic Church taught and believed, the more that the dots connected. And I realized, you know what? This this makes sense. This what what they teach about Mary makes sense here in the Assumption and and uh, the Annunciation and so on and so on. Then the third part of this journey that really shocked me, this was a shock to my system, was how people were so anti-Catholic that they would literally misrepresent what we believe in order to draw us out of our faith. They, they was, well, you, you guys worship statues. No, we don't. I've never worshipped the statue in my entire life. Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> you, you worship Mary. No, I, I don't worship Mary. So worship the saints. I, right. So that's when I decided to get into apologetics, which mm. is basically, and I first the first apostolate that I formed was one called Deeper Truth, and I did like twenty five on line debates on deeper truth and and most of those are still, yeah most of those are still online and and apologetics is what bro but give us your definition of apologetics please well, the, a defense of the faith be be uh peter said always be willing to give an answer for the uh, faith that lies within you but do so with gentleness and reverence 